Louis Pasteur said, germs kill all. And then they say, germ theory was born and that's why mankind is alive. It was a great day for medicine and antibiotics were an. Today it's a very sad day for medicine because there are 500 antibiotic molecules. They cannot even touch some of the germs which have grown in the hospital called superbugs. And then do you know how we kill it? When Murarji Desai used to drink his own urine, we used to laugh at him. Did you laugh? You also must right. laugh. Now for severe infection, the treatment is, in American German, fecal transplant. Fecal transplant. Murarji Desai was drinking urine. Today it's fecal transplant. Now America says, human urine has so much of calicrinins and so much of immune boosters that it could be treatment. And cow's urine is now patented for treatment as an immune booster. So when I say, did your father have diabetes? Yes, sir. Oh. Then you become a diabetic. With fear itself, the sugar will go up. Your father's diabetes has nothing to do with you. Because your father knew the relationship is one in a million zeros. One. But you, unless you de-link medicine from money, this medicine will kill mankind. Look at yourself. You are a colony of 100 trillion human beings. They are called human cells. And they are all you. And each cell has been living on its own. It has got its mind, it can eat, it can sleep, it can excrete, it can do everything. But for economic reasons, after these chartered accountants came, they said, no, why everybody do everything, we'll come together. So about 100 trillion of them joined together and made a colony called the human body. And you think your human body is solid? There's nothing solid about you. Today, medicine is the biggest industry in the world. Cholesterol lowering alone is 1.72 trillion dollar business. One company which sells cholesterol drugs gets an on an average 15 to 18 billion dollars profit. A cardiac stent which is like your spring of the ballpoint pen costs 10 dollars to manufacture. Sold for 2000 dollars. And the budget is 500 dollars doctor's hospitality. And a company gets a small profit of 1490 dollars per stent. And of course, because the blocks you see are not disease at all. The disease that kills you is not seen in the angiogram. It's called vulnerable plaque, which can't be seen. These blocks are very good because every, even a child has a block. Conditioning. They, these people with the block get a heart attack, they won't die. But if one gets a heart attack without a block, he will drop down dead. So, but we frighten that. We tell them, do you know the centers we use? You are sitting on a volcano. It might burst any minute. So the fellow says, uh, can he go home and come back? He has talked to his wife. I don't know. On your way back home also you may die. So you better do it now. Do you know why? If the bakra goes out and talks to somebody, he may not come back. Really true. That is why we have become a menace to society. It has to change. It can't change otherwise. It has to change from within. And that change can come only if we can give, bring it up a generation, future generation, which is not as greedy as we are. It's the human greed that kills another human being. It kills you. Ten percent of people who start statin, start their blood sugar starts going up. Ten percent of statin users become diabetics. So, 11 million people take statins in India and 1.1 1 mil, 1 .1 million diabetics are added every year. Then we proclaim on the other hand by the diabetic drug people, he said, India is the capital of diabetes of the world. What is the normal height of an Indian male? Gaussian curve, 5.4, 2 plus this side, that side, 5.2 plus 5.6, you're normal. Okay? Right? Amitabh Bachchan comes for a checkup. 6.2, our treatment is cut his legs to make him 5.6. Are, what do we do? Sugar, what do Blood pressure, what do we do? Then next day, Jaya Bachchan comes for a checkup. She's 4.6. Transplant that leg to her. <laughs> day in and day out, we doctors are doing this. Trying to correct the statistical average, which we tell the common man as normal. So, average becomes a normal. There will be what are called false positives. Abusive letters I get. I wrote a book called, What Doctors Don't Get to Study in Medical School. It came out. There is a big journal in India called the National Medical Journal which comes from All India Institute and they think they are All India Institute, they are all gods because they have political clout. You know, he starts his All India Institute as an MBBS student and end, dies in NCD as this retired director or somebody. Till then they are all in All India Institute. So he wrote, 
two page review the author is a fool he doesn't know science he is a bloody fool and he must be hospitalized and the book is so bad the english is horrible and this and that and all kinds of rubbish he wrote would you believe copies were sold in one week so i wrote him a nice letter thank you very much for getting all my books sold now this book was published in london by a company english company on their own and the british medical journal wrote a review which said this is not a textbook of medicine as claimed by the author but is a holy text of medicine written by a prophet so it's the sun's electromagnetic energy that keeps you and me going and sun is the best friend but the industry has produced a myth with television interest saying that you will get skin cancer you will become black your color will go and things like that so you have so many things sunscreen one of the important causes of skin cancer dementia a drug induced crime on mankind by doctors now garlic to be effective in the human system it must be eaten as garlic in nature and that too in raw form and that too put in the mouth chewed kept there for a minute or two when it burns you because garlic is a medicine called alinine but it is in the form of alicine in the garlic and it mixes with the trypsin in the saliva to become alinine unless it that it's no effect now when we did that study garlic is a fantastic medicine People's doctor padma bhushan dr b m hegde he is an internationally acclaimed physician cardiologist medical scientist educationalist author of many books and orator par excellence he is he is admired for his humane holistic and integrated approach of dealing with people and medical care honorable dr hegde has received many awards honors fellowships from all over the globe dr hegde has numerous qualification to his profile including md from king's george medical college university of lucknow mbbs from stanley medical college madras university and various other fellowship that includes frcp facc frcgp mrcp fams from various prestigious medical schools in uk us europe and india dr hegde has been a teacher for more than 5 decades a distinguished personality he has many credentials that includes currently being editor in chief of the journal of science of healing outcomes former visiting professor and affiliate professor to many medical schools in us uk and india he was former vice chancellor of manipal university too dr hegde has been a deserving recipient of numerous national and international awards including padma bhushan dr b c roy national award dr jc board jc bose award for life science research pride of india award from the us and